and welcome back to the channel. Today's an exciting day because we are going to start clearing this section of land for our cabin. So the first step is to remove all of the stumps and brush and this moss layer, get some of the trees down that are in the way, and then we are going to work our way back, grading, finishing the road, back to where we want to build the cabin, and then we can start laying our foundation. initially planned to do this over the winter while there was still snow on the ground. It could have been really bad if the skid loader had run over some of these stumps or ran one of the buckets into one of the stumps that we couldn't see because of the snow. So we're actually really glad that we waited. Get to try out the new chainsaw today. The U-size chainsaw? The me-size chainsaw. <laughs>
So how do you like your new chainsaw? I love this little thing. It works really well. And it's the perfect size for me. It's not too heavy. <laughs> Melanie, you want to help me take him over to the woodshed? Here, you take this one. Take it. Here, you take that one. Good boy. Come on, let's take it to the woodshed. Come on. <laughs> like about a week setback. Damn it. The 28 year old radiator finally let loose. I guess these things don't run on hopes and dreams. out. Just got to wait for the new one to come in and we can put it back together. Well, it's raining again. Try and get this antifreeze in here. Make sure we don't have any leaks.
brush that was here in this area that we cleared, we are separating out. Anything that's small, like the root mat or small brush, we're actually using for our own compost. We're going to put it in a pile. We'll throw in some other stuff and some of our own nutrients and compost it for our garden for next year. And some of the bigger stuff, like the bigger branches, the stumps and the logs, we're actually hauling to a local farm and they have a big tum grinder that they can grind it all up and make mulch with it. So I've got that pile pretty whittled down like on my fifth load I think of heavy logs and stuff. We're really narrowing it down. Should be gone before long then we can get started on our project. Here's all the root mat and the dirt that I've been sorting out of that pile that we cleared where we cleared for the garden and everything so we've got a really big pile of stuff here to start breaking down to make some really good fertile soil.
cut down a bunch of the trees that were back here. And what we're going to do is we're clearing out a space to put the sawmill right over here near the garden. And we needed a big open area so that way we could bring trees in and get them easily onto the sawmill. And some of the trees we're going to use for firewood, some of the smaller ones we're going to actually make posts for a temporary chicken run. And so we're gonna go ahead and get these cut up. Yeah. There must be some sort of nest in this tree because there's these giant wasps, yeah, hornets. The wasps. They are massive and they are all over this tree. After a little bit of research, we found that these are actually called wood wasps or horntails, and they don't sting. They're completely harmless. They just look super intimidating because they're huge. And that long stinger is actually not a stinger. It lays eggs into the wood, so it uses that thing on the back there to put its eggs into the wood. So they're completely harmless, so we just scared a bunch of them away so we could keep cutting. for our cabin is pretty much cleared. We have a couple more things that we have left to do. And one of those is removing this old birch tree. We have a couple of really beautiful old birch trees right in this area, but unfortunately that one poses a risk to potentially falling on our cabin one day. So that has to come down. The next thing is marking out our cabin area. We drilled a couple of test holes for our foundation to make sure that we are going to be hitting a stone base layer. So that way it's stable for the foundation. After we mark out the spots for our cabin, we're going to lie down some more Typar and get more stone delivered. So we have a driveway and parking pad so we can start hauling in materials to get our cabin up. So what we just measured out is a 24 by 42 foot section for our cabin. So our cabin's going to be a 24 by 30 foot cabin with a six foot roof overhang on both the front and the back of the cabin. Where we're placing the cabin, the front of the cabin will have great southern sun exposure and the back will have a deck that overlooks the Cook Inlet and the volcanoes. <laughs> So it was a shame to cut down this really old tree. It was a really nice one, but the problem was is it was leaning right towards where we'd be parking our cars, and I think it would actually clip the corner of the cabin if it was to fall from wind. And as you can see, it's a good thing we did because the whole center is actually very rotten. It looks like ants have been in there burrowing.
After we laid out the area for our cabin, we decided to remove one more tree because when we eventually put on a deck, we don't want this tree to be in the way and have to fell it close to the cabin once it's built. So we are going to take that down now. Thank <laughs> you. 